Good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. It is um, Thursday, the 14th of May. It's great to see so many of you joining us um, this morning. Um, a few things from me um, before I hand over to Mr. Sparks, who's got some important messages for us about your class assessments this week. Um, but before he moves on to that, I have to share with you just how impressed I am with number one, the sheer number of you that have attended and taken part in all of your class assessments this week. And secondly, the quality of work that all of your teachers are seeing through those assessments. And they are giving us a really good indication of how you've been getting on um, with your virtual learning so far this term. Um, over next week, we're looking forward to be able to share um, the results from all of your class assessments um, with with your parents and people at home. And we'll be giving you much more information at the start of next week about what that is gonna look like. In addition to your assessments over this week, it's been really encouraging and fantastic to see so many of you that have been taking part in the wellbeing activities each afternoon. Now, I know that um, Ms. Dole worked extremely hard um, with our wellbeing team to put together a whole menu of activities for you to be able to take part in. And it's great to see that so many of you have been selecting um, activities of your choice um, from that list of those available. Um, Miss Shallow, who will be joining us later in this morning in the list, I'm sure will be mentioning the Thank a Teacher Day event, which takes place next Wednesday. And we've seen some really superb artwork being submitted um, over the last few days. Um, and I know that Miss um, Shallow will be encouraging you to continue to do that, but don't forget to check the item in your daily email with the link to where you can upload your artwork to thank a teacher or a member of staff that's been working with you um, here at Bexley Heath Academy. Um, in a moment, I'm going to hand over to Mr Sparks, who's going to give us some reminders about assessments taking place today and also an important message about um, your timetables for tomorrow. Um, Mr Sparks. Good morning, everyone. So great to see so many of you. Just a quick couple of updates on the week four assessments from me. Just to echo what Mr Napier said, it's been phenomenal to see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you complete those online assessments every session. Uh, just a quick reminder about the assessments that are coming up today. For our key stage three students, you have your modern foreign languages exam and PE. Watch out for that if you're a key stage three student, because on your email and on the virtual learning dashboard, of course, there are two links, one if you've chosen French and one if you've got Spanish and so make sure you do select the correct language we want to get the responses in to the correct place there for our key stage four students it's the option block B subjects and English part two which will be taking place later today one small change I just want to mention about tomorrow's timetable we hope that will benefit the year 10s originally your PE exam was scheduled last in the day I've now moved that. That's going to be period one, so you can get that done and complete period one at the start of the day. And what we've then done is put your wow work out of the week period five, just around the end of the week off nicely there. So that's the change on the key stage four timetable for tomorrow. So P exam will be first, wow work out of the week out will be last. Final message from me is if you've missed any exams for any other fortunate reason or you missed an exam because you might have had a my tutor session or something like that you can use your non-examined lessons tomorrow your other subjects to complete any missed exams so if you've missed an exam this week all the links by the end of tomorrow will be live on the virtual learning dashboard feel free at any point just to go into a missed exam and complete that before the end of the day that will let us get the results for those tests in next week so we can give you results on that best of luck with those and i'm going to hand over to miss shallow now who's going to announce today's birthday shout outs thank you Good morning all. Before I go into talking about whose birthday we're celebrating today, just a quick reminder, like Mr Napier said, please, 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 if you have not submitted your thank you message as of yet, make sure you do so as soon as you can. So if you were in assembly yesterday, there is my, the best piece of art that I could do because art is not my forte, but I know that wherever Miss Dylan is and if she was to see this, it will really, really make her smile. And my aim is that you do exactly the same thing to your teachers for um, Wednesday, when they get to see those messages, it just warms up their heart a little bit more. Right, so for today's birthday, we have a few birthdays for today. Um, turning 12 today is Jenna and Angel in year seven. Happy birthday to you both. And Alfie turned 14 today. Happy birthday, Alfie. 
Frankie, you're 15 today. Olu, um, Olu Ayami, you're 15 today as well. Happy birthday to you all. And lastly, turning 17 today, as Anjali. Happy birthday, guys. Make sure you have a fantastic day celebrating your birthday today. If you're having a Zoom party, have fun and pass the cakes around. Enjoy yourselves. I'll now hand you over to Miss Delva, who will be giving um, today's shout outs from your teachers. Have a fantastic day, all. Miss Delva. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well and safe. So, today our shout outs are I have a long list. Um, Tolu, Emre, Veronica, uh, in year seven for the Spanish, as for, for Miss Petro for excellent work in Spanish. And I've got Pandi um, in year 10 for English, and that's from Miss Balding, um, an excellent um, understanding of Inspector Post. Then you've got Shivesh in science, um, <clears throat> and it's from the science team. And the reason is for improved quality of work and always responding to emails. Uh, science again, um, we have got, oh, it's also, uh, sorry, no, that's the repeats on the sheet. Um, and that's it for the day. Well done. Have a lovely day. And I'm now going to pass over to Miss Mush. Goodbye. Good morning, everybody. I hope you are as bright as today's sunshine because it is lovely out there. Now, my job today is to talk about the fun fact of the day. I stand to be challenged by some people who may think that it's a misconception, but for me, it is a fact. Now, over 3 million people travel on the underground transit daily um, in, in, in London. That's amazing. 3 million people. Three women even gave birth in the tube. One of those babies you may even have heard of, and this is US talk show icon Jerry Springer. During a raid, um, a Luftwaffe raid in 1944, thanks, um, Mr. Napier, you helped me pronounce that. Luftwaffe raid in 1944, Springer's mother took, a, took shelter in a metro station and despite the less than ideal circumstances, gave birth to Jerry Springer. Talk about a famous start to life. Have a fantastic day, Bexley Heath Academy. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's up to me to close assembly today. I've got just a few things to run through. First of all, there were some great uh, entries into the sweet quiz yesterday. Four people made good attempts, but not quite right. So Joyce Ruff, Rochelle Barnes, Joe Tursley and Luke Seeley were almost there. Only two correct answers at the moment. So James Lever in year eight and Louis Sandham in year seven, both got all of the answers correct. I'm going to leave the quiz open for another day. So if you thought about it, you just didn't get a chance. If you'd like to enter, then please go ahead today and I will share the answers with you all tomorrow. Um, just a couple of shout outs from me for my year 12 class. So I would just like to thank Chloe, Jess and Sadie for their continued effort, hard work and their confident answers that they've been showing across this time in lockdown and online learning. So thank you, you three in particular. And to the close message for today. So just a few reminders from us as always. Please make sure that you stay home and that you stay safe. Please remember to always wash your hands for at least 20 seconds each time. Um, remember to keep fit and healthy. You're allowed to go out now for an extended number of times to exercise. So please remember to take advantage of that, but please keep safe. Don't meet up with people that you shouldn't. And please remember the two meter rule. Everybody have a lovely day. Good luck in any assessments you've got today. And we'll see you all in assembly tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you.